Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And this evening we are uh, looking at temperature readings in the 70s. Some gusty winds out there, but with a setting sun and the clearing sky, we're going to see those winds drop off and temperatures drop off tonight too, heading down to 62 degrees by 11 p.m. under those clear skies. And then tomorrow, a uh, cool night on the way, uh, dropping into the low 50s tonight, but we should reach the upper 50s by 8. And at noon, closing in on 70 and up in the mid 70s in the afternoon at 5 p.m. We'll see those clearing skies tonight. Cooler with overnight low temperatures dropping into the 50s and lots of sunshine Tuesday. Looks pretty nice. A real nice day with low humidity and highs in the 70s. And then clouds move in Tuesday night. That'll be followed by showers on Wednesday and even a chance of some thunder. As far as cutting the grass goes this evening, that time of year or the month of May, early June, when you really need to stay on top of it. Monday looking good this evening. Tuesday good. And then Wednesday, maybe not the best conditions. Looks like we'll have some rain moving in in the morning. And uh, so uh, perhaps some poor conditions on Wednesday and then back to fair conditions Thursday as we'll just have a chance of some spotty showers and thunderstorms. Our dew point values this morning dropping all the way down at the low 50s, but this afternoon it's been getting even nicer than that. Uh, 39 for the current dew point in Muncie and numbers in the low to mid 40s across our region. So it's very comfortable out there. Quarter of an inch of rain since midnight at Dayton International Airport with some of those showers and thunderstorms moving through last night. Still a surplus for the year at plus 1.52. And rainfall totals from our weather checkers, David Wessler, New Paris, couple tenths of an inch. Jason Thompson in Brookville, two tenths of an inch. Bill Tells Row in the Fairborn Beaver Creek area, three tenths of an inch of rain. Tom Wyckoff, Springfield, a couple tenths of an inch, along with the low stutters in Jamestown over there in the eastern part of Greene County. Lows tonight heading down to the low 50s, 51 in Springfield. Troy about 52, 52 in Pickwood and Sydney, and uh, low 50s here in the Dayton area. We'll see high temperatures tomorrow afternoon, low 70s north, mid 70s around Greenville at 74 degrees, 73 Urbana uh, down here around Dayton, 75, maybe even some upper 70s south of town. Then clouds, rain will move in on Wednesday, so highs will be mid to upper 60s north, upper 60s to near 70 in the southern part of our viewing area. Here's the time lapse, Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera. You can see the mostly sunny skies developing now for the evening commute as those cumulus clouds continue to thin out. We had showers uh, actually just about half hour ago up in uh, uh, parts of Shelby and also Logan counties and that rain just dissipating moving off to the east and southeast and the sky is clearing west of us so it looks like we have some nice weather on the way tonight. Right now 76 west northwest wind 21 and look at that relative humidity, 31% with dew points in the low 40s. Your forecast tonight, uh, looks like that shower uh, threat has ended now. Clearing skies overnight, cooler, low 52. Mostly sunny and pleasant tomorrow, high 75. And checking out that forecast as we go through the rest of the week. A pretty good chance of rain, maybe even a thunderstorm Wednesday, 70. Warm, more humid Thursday, 80. And even warmer and windy on Friday into the upper 80s. Saturday, we'll have a chance of thunderstorms with a cold front moving in and cooling off early next week behind that front.